part of being told some of my tracks in the bush have been flattened by fallen trees, a new bit I just made. Um, some new railings have been broken. So I'm taking the battery Makita, 36 volt Makita here, into the bush to see if I can put it to a real world test. And here we have it, nothing too large. It's about six inch diameter log there, branch. <laughs> last railing I just put on has been knocked off at least it's not broken it's just sheared the screw off so that'll be fairly easy to chuck back up chop some branches I think I'll take out that trunk there because there's nothing on the top of it that's probably what one of these is broken off so I'll cut that out and cut up this other stuff see how the chainsaw goes this is tea tree it's a very hard wood but it does rot easily You can see the nice red colours you get inside. Tea tree. Thought it might have been a rotten tree that one, but it looks looks all good. It's been rotten on the top though. These trees get to a certain size, they're sort of like nursery trees. They get bloody big. All those tall trees up through there are all tea tree. They get up high like that and then they just start falling to bits. There's one there, that one there is dead. And it'll come crashing down one day soon. They often just fall over on days that aren't even windy or anything. Just all of a sudden crash. There's a lot of them in the New Zealand bush in the North Island up here. And they fall down a lot.
Anyway, the um, saw's done pretty good. I'm happy. Let's see if I can find something bigger to cut. But it went through that like butter, so that's all good. Battery life-wise, let's have a look. So it's used one. They were two fully charged 4 amp hour batteries, and it has used one bar of each, as you can see. So it's used at least a third, sort of energy-wise, the batteries. So you wouldn't be able to chop all day with the damn thing. But I'm happy so far. A rather large tea tree has crashed down through this valley here, across the river. Over the other side there from here is probably about 15, 15 to 20 meters away. It's crashed down over the river. And come up through here on the other side. And it's blocking what used to be a path here. Somebody's been using it. You can see that it's been trampled. And some dog poo there. So I'll clear this out of the way with the chainsaw. So this is a bit more like it, found a bigger tree that's fallen down here. We're looking at about 300 across or one foot in diameter. Let's see how the Makita cooks with that. Pretty good. Happy again. Here it's slowing at times, but <laughs> I went through that a lot quicker than my old Petro Hitachi one would have Lots of things to shift and clean up. 